So summer is finally here, and it looks like we're gonna be able to get out and do some shooting. But what am I gonna be shooting with? Let's take a look at what's gonna be in my camera bag summer 2020. So this is a big year for me. Last year I switched from the DSLR system, the Canon 5D4, to the mirrorless system, the Canon R. And it, over the course of the last year, I added a few lenses, I changed what my gear is gonna be, and I'm really looking forward to this year, to actually getting out and shooting with my new setup, with my new lenses, and really seeing how this system works. So this is gonna be more about big gear, lenses, and things like that, but some of the peripherals that I always have to have with me, a tripod and I would show it to you, but it's, I'm using the tripod for the camera for this video right now. We've been using for years now the Faisal CT3441S. It's a great travel tripod, but it's super sturdy. Check out our video on all the tripods, this one in particular. It's really a great travel tripod. I'm gonna have my extra batteries, I'm gonna have my extra memory cards, I'm gonna have my cable release, I'm gonna have my lens pen, a little lens pen to clean my lenses off. All that stuff's always definitely gonna be in my bag. In addition, I'm gonna have the M50 that I'm shooting this on right now. The M50 with the microphone, extra lens, the Canon 22 F2 lenses on here now. Oh, and also filters. I always have circular polarizer filters and neutral density filters in my bag. Circular polarizer, basically a few different sizes to match all my lenses. And the neutral density filters I have in three stop, six stop, and 10 stop densities with a step-up ring to be able to match each of those to all of my lenses. I've tried using the variable neutral density filters in the past. I don't like them. I don't think that they work properly. I'm much more happy, much better with the three different densities and just changing them as I need them. But those are always in my bag also. So starting with the lenses, let's start with the widest lenses that I have and we'll kind of work towards the telephoto. The first is the Canon RF 15 to 35 F 2.8. For years I was shooting with a Zeiss 15 millimeter 2.8. I picked up this one last year, compared it to the Zeiss and I was so happy with the results. I traded in the Zeiss. I've been using this one exclusively ever since. At the wide end, even if I only use it at 15 millimeters as a prime, I get 2.8, I get image stabilization, and the image quality is unbelievable. Plus, you get the super versatility of having a 15 to 35 zoom. Then I have the Canon 24 millimeter tilt shift lens, Mark II, it's the second version of that. I've had this for a really long time. I love using tilt shift lenses. All these lenses I'm referring to in this video, check out on our YouTube channel. I did reviews on probably all of these at this point. You can definitely check them out. Uh, this is one of the favorites that people really like watching the video that I did on tilt shift lenses, so definitely check that out. And I'll put a link at the end of this to all of the reviews, like a playlist of all the reviews that we did. Uh, so you can find that in there also. Tilt shift lens, really great at being able to control perspective and really modifying your image to look really cool. Certain situations, I always, always have this with me no matter what. Uh, it's a really creative thing to use. So the 24 millimeter tilt shift lens is always in my bag. Speaking of things that are always someplace, the Canon RF 50 millimeter 1.2 lens is always on my camera. This is my default go-to lens that's always here. Whenever I pick up my camera, whenever I take it out of my bag, I start with this lens. This one's always on here. I love the perspective that I get from the basic 50 millimeters. I love being able to shoot ultra wide open at 1.2. The image quality is second to none. It's an amazing lens. I'm so glad I got this. It's the first one I got to go with my Canon R. And like I said, it's attached to my camera all the time. Uh, this is the Canon 85 millimeter 1.4 IS. And you'll notice the adapter is on there and it's it's an ef lens but the adapter lets me use it on the canon r camera on the rf mount and i have a few of the lenses are like that the thing that's really great about this and it kind of falls really too close to my 50 millimeter and a little bit too close to the 135 that i'm going to show you next uh, but the thing that's really amazing about this is to be able to shoot at 1.4 with a telephoto lens at 1.4 wide open using image stabilization you're basically shooting like almost in the dark it's got a huge huge piece of glass on the front there. And like I said, in certain situations, it just comes in so handy to be able to shoot handheld, practically in the dark, wide open at 1.2 using the image stabilization on this lens. And the image quality is just, is just amazing. The oldest lens I have in my bag is this one right here. It's the Canon 135 F2. It's an easily one of my favorite lenses. This is another one that's just always, always in my bag. 
the focal length. I love the focal length at 135. It's, it's nice for candid shooting, for street photography. I love the compression on it. The colors and contrast with, every, with this thing are beautiful. Uh, the background blur is amazing when you shoot wide open at f2 and it's sharp as a tack. I've had this lens longer than any other lens that I own and it is still one of my favorites after all these years. By far one of my favorite focal lengths to use the 135 millimeter wide open at f2. This Canon lens is amazing. And I know this is a lot of lenses. I don't always have all these lenses with me. On a serious situation, if I'm going out and I ha don't know what I'm gonna be getting into, and I know I gotta get a lot of shots, I will fill up my bag with all these lenses. Hard to carry around, but typically I have maybe half of these with me at any one time. So I'll kind of plan out my day and maybe do a half day with half the lenses and then the second half of the day mix things up a little bit. The lens I got last year, I talked about it here on the channel, one of the most amazing lenses I've ever held and used is the new Canon RF 70-200 2.8. Now this focal length is one of by far the most versatile focal lengths for photographers. It's just so super useful to be able to shoot in that telephoto range but to be able to zoom between 70-200. 2.8 is a nice wide aperture, it's got image stabilization and this lens is just for me, so small compared to the EF version of this lens. And it's actually fairly light, it's much lighter than the EF 70-200. I think the sun is hitting my lens here. As the sun, now I'm gonna bop over just a little bit. Reposition, try to get this thing out of the sun. There, that's a little better. Now it's not in direct sunlight. Oh, before I mention a couple of specialty lenses that I have, let me talk about uh, this flash. This is the Canon 430 EX3 RT. What's great about this lens is it's really good. It's radio controlled, so I can control it with my radio trigger, and it's much, much smaller and lighter than my 600 EX, uh, which means I can fit this in my bag. The other, the 600, I don't use flash a lot especially if I'm not shooting portraits. Uh, but I always wanna have a flash in my bag. So something like this is really powerful, is really good, and it just slides into my bag. It's so much smaller, it's like half the size of the 600. So it's the Canon 430EX3 RT Speedlight. Great flash. All right, let's shuffle over one more time as the sun is on the move. There. Now I am in deep shade. Okay, a couple lenses that I love using, but I just don't carry with me all the time just because of the size and weight and there's just not always enough room in my bag and I don't use them often enough. So unless I specifically know I need them, I'm not really taking them with me. The first is the Canon 8 to 15 millimeter fisheye lens. It's a, an amazing lens to use. And it's a fisheye lens. You know what a fisheye lens does. But a fisheye lens is just so much fun and you get some really amazing images out of it, some really unique stuff. Uh, definitely try it out. Uh, there are, this is pretty expensive. It's an eight to 15, so at the eight millimeter, and you get a circle. You basically, your image is gonna be black around the edges and you're gonna get a circular image in the middle. And then it zooms out to 15, where you're still fisheye, but it's basically, you're getting, uh, you're filling the frame with the image. And my big lens, the Canon 300 millimeter f2.8. Uh, it's a prime lens. It's huge, it's heavy but it's amazing. So when I think I might ever need it, especially if I'm gonna go out into the outdoors, you know, shooting landscapes and things like that, I'll love to have something like this with me. Uh, just to, you know, instead of getting those wide open shots, you know, to be able to zero in on details, uh, compression, shooting, you know, outdoors and actually getting that amazing compression. The image quality shooting with a lens like this is just second to none. It's really, really amazing. Like I said, it's big and heavy, so it's kind of hard to carry around, but when I do use it, I'm always happy that I had it with me. So that's what's gonna be in my camera bag this summer when I go out shooting. Like I said, maybe not all of them at once, but I'm gonna have these lenses with me with the other gear that I talked about with the accessories. We're gonna have a lot of fun shooting this summer. It's gonna be nice to go out and actually get some things done, maybe meet up with some friends, go to some nice places, and just have some fun shooting. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about any of these lenses, any, any of these maybe you've been thinking about getting, you wanna know more about them. Any comments you have, please leave them down below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.